After overcoming a widespread software issue at the end of November, Airbus seems to have yet another problem with its A320 family aircraft. This latest problem appears to center on aircraft fuselage panels. And while initial details on this matter remain relatively scarce, it is believed to be a production flaw and as such is more likely to delay deliveries than impact aircraft that are already in service. In today's video, we take a look at that widespread software issue as well as this fuselage panel problem. So, first up, the software problem. Airbus discovered that a large number of A320 aircraft in operation around the globe may be impacted by corrupted data due to a software update. Airbus has acknowledged that the corrupted data was caused by intense solar radiation. Solar radiation is a term that relates to the radiant energy produced by the sun, which has an impact on aircraft, with the possibility of increased radiation exposure for aircraft operating at high altitudes. According to Skybree.aero, around half of this energy is visible, while the other half is near-infrared or ultraviolet. Bursts of this energy can cause disruptions to communication or navigation systems. Solar radiation can disrupt global GPS signals, which could lead to delays or groundings of aircraft as they compensate for the loss of data. Additionally, pilots and crew are frequently exposed to direct sun exposure, which can be quite intense for those in the cockpit at various times of the day. It was stated that the problem with Airbus jets was discovered after a JetBlue flight between Cancun and Newark, where the aircraft experienced a sudden altitude drop, injuring three passengers and a violent loss of control. Previous reports of the incident noted the flight was calm when all of a sudden the plane jerked and dived for around 30 seconds. Data from FlightAware identifies the plane dropped from 35,000 to 18,000 feet within five minutes. The plane maker had to actively work with aviation authorities to briefly ground aircraft to have them revert to previous software versions, a process that would take several hours. According to Airbus, around 5,100 A320 aircraft were updated quickly, but it was stated that 900 older models would need a replacement computer and thus face longer times on the ground. Several airlines completed the software updates overnight with minimal operational disruption, but others had been significantly impacted, with passengers warned to expect delays or cancellations. Airbus CEO Guillaume Froly said, Our teams are working around the clock to support our operators and ensure these updates are deployed as swiftly as possible to get planes back in the sky and resume normal operations, with the safety assurance you expect from Airbus. Japanese carrier All Nippon Airways, or ANA, cancelled 65 domestic flights on Saturday, November 29th. According to Reuters, American Airlines said some delays took place as the problem impacted some 340 aircraft in its fleet. The recall is the largest in Airbus's 55-year history. If that wasn't bad enough, it was shortly after that Reuters reported a separate quality problem affecting a quote-unquote limited number of A320 metal panels. A company spokesperson stated, Airbus is taking a conservative approach and is inspecting all aircraft potentially impacted, knowing that only a portion of them will need further action to be taken. The source of the issue has been identified, contained, and all newly produced panels conform to all requirements. As noted in the introduction, this latest problem seems to only impact brand new A320 family aircraft, those yet to be delivered. Reuters stated that there were no indications that any of these panels had reached aircraft in service. So, is Airbus in crisis? While the timing might indicate that things are falling apart, it doesn't really seem like a company crisis when you learn more about the problems. Indeed, the largest issue is the result of solar radiation, while the other problem is completely unrelated and was caught early on. But, of course, the two separate issues have been enough to spark panic among shareholders, with shares in Airbus tumbling by as much as 11% at one point. What do you think of all of this? Let us know by leaving a comment. In addition to our daily YouTube videos, Simple Flying publishes over 150 articles every week. If you're looking for the latest aviation news and insights, 
visit simpleflying.com.